Paul's telling Timothy that if you want to follow Jesus Christ, you're going to run into trouble. He doesn't want to, he doesn't want to hold anything back. He says, you already know that if you're going to follow Jesus, you're going to suffer persecution. You're going to go through tough times. And the same is true for you and I today. That if you want to be a follower of Jesus Christ, it is not going to be easy. There will be times that you struggle. There will be times when people may persecute you. But if we are faithful to Jesus Christ, he will bring us out stronger and better on the other side. So this morning, I want us to look at at some things that we can pull out of here. And our plain truth is this. God uses adversity to prepare our hearts to trust Christ. God uses adversity to prepare our hearts to trust Christ. C.S. Lewis, in one of his books, he wrote this. He said, God whispers to us in our pleasures, speaks to us in our conscience, but shouts in our pains. It is his megaphone to rouse a deaf world. It's powerful. Powerful stuff. We often, when we're going through struggles, we often worry about, well, you know, why, why is this happening to me? Why is, why is God not here for me right now? Well, the truth is we're blocking them out. A lot of times when we're going through struggles, we're so concerned with ourselves that we forget about God totally. Even if God is shouting at us, we just block him out. So today, the first thing I want us to pull out of this is that God prepares through adversity. Paul told Timothy from the very beginning, if you're, if you're going to follow Christ, you're going to be persecuted. You're going to have struggles. You're going to have problems. Your, your relationships are not going to go well. Your finances may not go well. Your kids may not listen to you. Whatever it is, whatever adversity you've got, God uses them. And another thing is this. Sometimes we cause our own pain and suffering, but God still uses our hurt to draw us close to him. It's one thing for for God to, to allow hurt to happen, but guys, we make it worse. Sometimes we, we make decisions, bad decisions, that cause more problems. And maybe it's not even God's doing. We've got free will. We can choose the right way or the wrong way. Or we can choose something and, and it go horribly wrong for us. But it, it happens when we don't consult God when we don't ask for his guidance and when we just make a hasty decision, look at Moses. In the story we just talked about, Moses made a very hasty decision. Moses decided that it would be better for him to murder this Egyptian than try to come up with a peaceful solution. In his haste, in his not consulting God before he made this very big decision, he ended up going to the desert. And spending a long time there dealing with, being prepared by the choice that he made on that one day. God uses adversities that that we are faced with each and every day to make us stronger. But we've got to allow God to use those adversities so that we can be made stronger. Only when we allow that is God able to really do a work in us. Look at the, the Israelite people. After Moses had them, re- finally was able to get them taken out of slavery, it took them 40 years to make a trip that should have taken about 15 days. Some say it should have taken about 11. Some say it should have taken about 17. Let's cut it down the middle. Let's say about two weeks. Instead of taking two weeks for them to get from point A to point B in the promised land, it took them 40 years. Because when they sent out the spies, when the spies were sent in to the promised land and and they came back, 10 of them said, there's no way we can do it. There are too many of them. The giants are huge. There's no way that we'll be able to take it. Not worrying about what God said. This is the land that I promised you. Instead of listening to the two who said, y'all, we got it. Y'all ought to see what's over there. 
God's going to provide. The Israelite people listened to the 10 naysayers and instead God said, you guys aren't ready yet. And because you're not ready, I'm going to send you on a little trip. 40 years walking around the desert in preparation. In preparation. In the Babylonian Talmud, there was a, uh, it's a record that was found many years ago. There was an interesting comment that was made and I'm going to read it to you. It says, There's a long way which is short and a short way which is long. The journey of the Jewish people through the wilderness from slavery to freedom is undoubtedly filled with trials and tribulations. Yet ultimately, through our circuitous route, we became a unified nation, a people of Israel. Stronger from our experiences, more mature through our overcoming adversity, and eventually more assured that leaving Egypt was in fact the right thing to do. Sometimes God just needs to give us some struggles. He needs to give us some obstacles so that we can trust him. 